What's up everyone, it's Finks here, bringing you guys another commentary. So this one, again, I've already seen. I've already, I've already seen. I've already, this is not a blind reaction, this is a commentary. And so I will be providing criticism, commentary, uh, you know, the whole, just general feedback. Um, now I need to preface beforehand that I am a fan of Jaden, I do like her work. Um, but that doesn't mean I can't give some feedback. And, uh, yeah. So, before you attack me, please understand that this is, this is nothing to do with hating on Jaden. I do like her work, but, uh, just like I do with the odd ones out, I figured I would do start doing commentaries where I provide general uh, constructive criticism and feedback. First of all, <clears throat> for story animators. This is a general, general feedback. Um, when you do the, like, the whole white, when you do your narrating bits, like here, right here, consider putting your character, whatever it is, in the center of the camera. Because when I do, you know, a, a talk show, Right. If I did a talk show, I wouldn't be doing this. Okay. I wouldn't be a talk. I wouldn't be doing a talk show over here on in real life with a webcam. I would be. I would be centered <clears throat> on the screen, so there isn't this like empty space. Now I actually have a background, um, but like it would be like having like a, a, a like a green screen, right? And just talking over here throughout the entire video. That would drive people nuts, first of all. And second of all, it leaves a lot of blank space. If I didn't have this, this was pretend this is a white void, right? And I was just talking like this. It would be weird and unnatural. It would be, it would be weird, right? Even if I was facing the camera, I guess like, like this. Like I was, I was facing the camera, but I did the whole, the whole video doing it like this. It's really weird. So instead of having your characters to the side, consider trying to center it so there's less white space if you don't want to do a background. Um, a lot of people say that Jaden should color in her characters, and I think that's up to her. I don't think I mind her not coloring in her characters because it kind of adds to her own style. But like I said, it, it would make a little bit more sense if it were if her character was centered on the screen and not off to the side. Being honest right off the bat, I have no idea what this video is. <laughs> I just had a random idea in my head. What if I tried to make See, a like that. that has literally no point? Like that. Like if you just did the whole video. Right when you did, if you, when you do your narrator parts, if you did the whole video with that centered, with the character centered on the screen, it would make a lot more sense. There would be less white white space. Um, sure, she could color in her shirt as well to give a, an even more less of a white space, of a, a blank a blank slate. But this is so much better than just having it to the side because it's less awkward that way. It makes more sense. I mean, that's how story time vloggers do it. Like, with the webcam and everything, they do it on the center of the screen. So it makes sense to have it the same way for animators, right? Because you want your animation to perceive real life. If you were doing a real life vlog, you wouldn't be off to the side, over to the right, or over to the left even. You would be in the center of it because it's, it's about you, you know? To it. So here we are. Over the course of like a month or two, I started jotting down. See, I don't know why she did, went back to going to the side because it was fine right in the center, but then she did, went back to the, over to the side, and now you have all this white space for no no reason at all. The random things that have crossed my brain and stuff along that line. Not the kind that are philosophical or have a deeper meaning. Just. The stupid ones. I this video might change the way you view me as a person. Whatever. I don't care. Let's get started. I was going through my phone contacts the other week and I was like Also her her hands are weird. <laughs> I kind of noticed this. Her hands are very weird. I suck at driving hand at, at drawing hands too. 
Um, but I just like to point out that those hands look very, very weird. <laughs> I don't think she can draw her hands either. Here, let's get started. I was going through my phone contacts the other week, and I was like, you know what? I want to get rid of the people I don't really need to have in here. Some and you know what? The w the good way, the, the best way, I think, of avoiding drawing bad hands is to not really give your character hands. Like, I think Jane is supposed to be more realistic, but if you can't draw hands, maybe substitute it. Um, because I believe James doesn't draw hands. He does a whole, his, his arm is all round instead. And it makes sense. If you, if you can't draw a hand, you know, you know, do something to make it look like you did it on purpose. Like if you want to do like three fingers instead, or if you want to do, you know, like a Yoda thing, or you want to make your hands all funky on purpose. I think that makes hides the fact that you can't draw hands. <laughs> Contact spring cleaning. And you know what? I think I think that coloring in her backgrounds is a valid criticism because she can choose not to color them in. But I think it would add a lot if she did color them in because it would be much more impressive and it would be more of a full of a fuller picture, right? cleaning so I started deleting people I've never talked to and the further in I got the more <laughs> I was thinking who are these people yeah Where yeah I have them? half of my contacts I have no idea who these people are well okay I, I know I know who I know who most of them are but it's just like when did they add their name Jacob Acorn. I've never met a Jacob Acorn before the frick and then there'd be people where I only added their first name <laughs> Ashley Ashley Assuming Newberry, uh, yeah, delete. I don't talk to her. Ooh, <coughs> well, I accidentally just permanently erased huh. some other Ashley from my life. Okay, oh. like now, right there, her character was more centered than usual, and that was good because there's less of a void in the back when you have your character centered. Like I said, it'd be weird if I did the whole video off to the side like this, especially when I w if I wasn't doing a reaction video. You know, maybe if I was doing a reaction video I could get away with doing this, although this is just weird for me. But I wouldn't do a video where I'm talking to the camera and I'll be off to the side like that, so why do it with the animation? Some other Ashley for my life. Also, that whole process made me realize I have way less friends than I thought I did. Like, I didn't have too many to begin with, but I deleted a lot more people than I thought I would, and <laughs> my contact list is far smaller than it was before. What if dogs were the humans of the earth? Like, instead of a human society, it was dogs. What would they create? Would they build a government? What would their education system be? Would they hmm. create dog hobbies and dog sports? I think they I'm would- I'm talking about the typical throw- I think they would create dog sports like fetch, fetch and stick and- Yeah, I think they would uh, invent dog sports like fetch ball <laughs> or like frisbee, frisbee fetch or like, uh, Squeak the stuffed animal. <laughs> Throwing frisbees and tennis balls. Maybe they'd create a game where they wear face harnesses with a scoop that can hold a ball <laughs> and they have to toss the ball into a hole on opposite sides of the court, each hole providing a different amount of points depending on its difficulty. Kind of so like, like ball. football combined with basketball. And there's teams so they need to strategize and work together to win against the other dogs. Would they create <laughs> art and music and invent things? Do they have passions that we couldn't think of? Like, if humans were just a wild animal, Animal, it would be much harder for us to realize that, say, playing a saxophone was your passion because ha, wild animals can't invent <laughs> saxophones, silly. So you'd never discover that side of yourself. But what hmm. if dogs could discover their passions and creative sides like humans? I'd want to go to a dog art museum and see what kind of art they'd make. Aren't you curious? If dogs had the intelligence and creativity of humans, what would they do with it? Could they run Earth? They would pee and poop all over the place and sleep. That's what that's what my dogs do. <laughs> better than we are. I'm just in kidding. I kind of hope so. In horror movies, why is it always the piano that's the haunted, pretentious, scary? I think the piano is just 
it just has that sound that sounds like haunted and spooky. It has more of a range than most instruments do. It has 88, 88 keys? Yeah, so it has more of a range because you know, there's lots of octaves to play around with. And it's it's easier to depict, you know, the keys being pushed down than just like a saxophone being, you know, being like having the their their buttons pushed down or like a trumpet having their their valve pushed down. It's just easier. I think it's easier to depict, you know, you know, keyboard being pushed invisibly than a different instrument. I also think that it's just the sound that it gives. Like pianos often give more of a sort of depressed sound or can they can do that you know obviously they can be all happy and jubilee as well they just have more of a range and it's just it's probably well pianos are really expensive so it's not that they're cheaper but i think it's more common it's just more common to find them i think more people know about them as an instrument as well so there's that like it would be weird to have an <laughs> it'd be weird to see an oboe just in a haunted movie because people don't really know what an oboe is even though i mean i do but most people don't know what an oboe is so it'd be kind of weird to, to put that in there instrument i've seen the scenarios where pianos play themselves the keys are smashed down to make a really ugly sound maybe the mm -hmm. original lid will slam down and kill someone <laughs> because people see them as elegant yet ominous at the same yeah time, i think so up a good that, has, uh, that has a lot like to a do with it where instead of walking into a big empty room with a haunted grand piano now, I think what Jaden often does is she goes to, like, the whole black and white route, and it's sometimes gray. I think it would be interesting to sort of stick to that, though. Like, she colors in her hair, but she doesn't color in, like, everything else, basically. And if they do, it's usually gray or white or black. Uh, I think if... She wants to go that route. She should try and make it look like a true black and white film, you know? That would be kind of cool. Piano in the center. A character walks into a big empty room and sees a ghost playing. <laughs> I also... <laughs> who invented that? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be much more engaged in a movie like that. Say, why does nobody talk about half popped popcorn kernels? They're just as good as the full pop one. They are. After you've consumed 97% of your popcorn, you get to the kernels at the bottom, and instead of throwing them all away, you should crunch on the ones that are semi popped. Mmm, heck! If you don't eat the half popped kernels, <laughs> You're missing out on some well, of the Well, okay, some, I used to eat the kernels a lot, but then it, it just became too much. Like, it, it's hard to chew them. Like, you have to, like, basically break them down instead of just going all rampant them. You definitely have to use, like, the back of your teeth to break it down. And it just became too much. I also heard bad things happen when you eat kernels. Maybe that was false, but, uh... I did hear that you can choke on kernels, so I kind of stopped eating them out of the bag. The best things in life. One time I was at the grocery store getting groceries. Yeah, great script right in there, Jaden. That was poetic. And at the checkout, I could tell the cashier was new at her job. I think she could make her characters look a little bit more unique by giving them unique features, maybe even coloring, it, coloring them in would actually might, might actually help. Cause you can also have a little bit more of diversity with the with adding color to the to your um, to your animations. Now I understand if that's maybe what she's going for. She's going for sort of like a almost like an like uh, I don't know. I'm going almost incomplete. Like a sort of, I guess she's going for more like a cartoony thing, like uh, the Diary of the Wimpy Kids sort of thing, where nothing is really colored in. But I think James does it better, where he he doesn't always color them in, but he does give a lot of color to sort of have more of an upbeat feeling, and it it 
it makes the tone come across a little bit better. And it also gives his animations a little more of a unique look to them. Well, the cashier was new at her job. Not like she was doing everything wrong, but you could see she didn't have the fluid motion down of a professional grocery store scanner. Those people have it down like it's an art form. Like, she uses this character a lot, and I think she could do a little bit better by making them look a little bit more unique. I know it's her style. And I'm, I'm totally down for people who want to do their own little style. But I do agree with Defina when he says that her videos could use a little bit more color. I think that's a, a valid and fair criticism. Because it could actually make her videos look a lot cleaner, I think. Not that there's anything necessarily wrong with Jaden's videos. But I do think it could have a great improvement if she colored them in. It w yes, it would take longer, and yeah, that, that's a thing. But you don't necessarily have to color everything in. I mean, James doesn't. But you could color in s certain things to make them pop out more, make them just a little bit cleaner, maybe have like a more of a colorful background and then have everything else black and white. I don't know. Strange way. So she was scanning the things and she got to the cilantro. <laughs> you probably know this, but you can't just put a barcode sticker on cilantro. I think some stores will wrap a tag around it, but mm -hmm. the place I was at just had a serial code that the cashier had to manually punch in. So the girl was flipping through the book that had all the serial codes in it, and she couldn't find the cilantro code. I've never mentally connected so much with a stranger before, because I knew exactly what was going on in her head. She was trying to quickly find the code because she didn't want to feel like she was taking up time by being slow, but in the stress of trying to quickly find the cilantro, her brain was getting frantic, which made her gradually start internally freaking out even more because she felt like she was taking way too much time trying to find the code, her peak <laughs> cycle getting more and more intense every time, and maybe after a minute of her trying to find the code, she just That's why we have computers now. put the cilantro in the bag. <laughs> she gave me free cilantro out of panic. Wow. It was a good day. Also, did you know there's a website dedicated to that's why we use computers now. Because <laughs> computers can do that now. You just look up the item and then it, it finds it and then you put it in. Hating cilantro? www.ihatecilantro.com They write haikus. Stressing about this <laughs> deadline is kind of relaxing in a sociopathic kind of way. We've all done it. You procrastinated a bunch on a project and are in the phase of crap because it's due tomorrow and it's already 10 45 p.m and you've only got like zero percent done but if you think about it it's kind of nice to see <laughs> no. it as, well, i'm totally stressed and panicked out of my mind right now and would rather just self implode but this feeling is only gonna last for a few more hours Mm -hmm. Since the deadline's so close. <laughs> if you wait until the last minute, it would have been a less intense but drawn out feeling of Yeah, but if you waited if you didn't wait to the last second, it wouldn't be nearly as good because <laughs> Because you don't have that adrenaline pumping and getting your, you to finish that project. I am the queen. I was the queen at procrastinating. I would wait to literally when we're in the classroom because I forgot to do it the next day. The last... I forgot to do it yesterday, so I would do it literally in class, hoping to get it done before the teacher came around to check it. <laughs> of dread while working versus this approach, which even though is ten times more mentally and emotionally draining and likely very bad for your health, only has to last for like one day, maybe even twelve hours if you really push it. So pick your battles. <laughs> But don't say I told you which one to choose. I'm not <coughs> responsible for any crummy projects you haphazardly spit out. But still you. My parents' house had really big windows in the living room, and sometimes birds would fly into them. Most often hummingbirds. Whenever one did, I would go outside to where it landed, and mm -hmm. if it didn't die from slamming headfirst into a window, I would pick it up and help it calm down and recover from being stunned. A lot <laughs> of people would probably say not to do that because it's a wild bird that can yeah. have wild bird diseases. And they're probably right. But yeah. Imagine if you did that with humans. Some kid is outside <laughs> running around. They blindly run right into a tree and collapse on the ground. You run over to help them, and when you get to them, you go, eh, "Sorry, kid, you've got a cold. Can't help you out, buddy." I mean, that actually does happen. Not like that, but it does happen because people are afraid of getting sued for helping a person because that is that is a thing that happens not necessarily in the US but in other countries where 
you know, it's the, they, they're they afraid of getting sued, so they don't actually stop and help. Uh, because of past cases where the the person tried to help, and then it turned up back, it backfired on them by having the person go and sue them, and actually winning a lawsuit for a person who was helping them. And it's crazy. Um... And then there was like a there was an experiment where there was like a, like a three year old who was like bleeding out or something like that, and no one would stop and help because they were afraid of getting sued because suddenly because suddenly you know being a good Samaritan isn't always protected under the law in all countries and that's kind of sad. Um, I know that's not what she's going for, but it is actually a real thing. People walk by victims and, and, and people in need because they're afraid of getting sued and getting arrested for it, which is so messed up if you really think about it. The fact that someone has to be afraid to help someone, it's pretty sad. So, are you envious that I've gotten to hold a hummingbird before? One even fluttered around me when it recovered. I'm a bird master. Like I said in the beginning, I was jotting all these down over a relatively long period of time, so I didn't just write all these in one go. And after looking at the list I made, I realized I wrote half popped popcorn two separate times at different <laughs> occasions. I guess past <laughs> just felt extremely compelled to talk about half popped popcorn. It is really good though. Why do kids on the internet feel the need to tell their age so frequently? You see it all the time. I'm 13. I'm yeah, six. that's a weird Dude, trend that happens. Do, it? do they think it's vital information they need to convey? Whenever I see a comment, often says, yes. I'm nine and my brain kind of automatically. It's like those comments were like, oh, I'm 13 and I understood what you were saying or something like that. It has to do, sometimes it has to do with the context of the video, sometimes it doesn't writes off whatever they're about to complain about. I'm not saying people these ages don't say anything valuable to me. I really enjoy seeing I'm six and really liked your video because then it feels like that message was written with full child peace. <laughs> Some of the kind, they're still innocent beings that haven't experienced the cruelness of reality yet. But any other time, it's uh -huh. just a detail that adds nothing else to their statement. One time I got an email that said, I love your vids, I'm seven. So I responded with, thanks. I'm 19. Do they feel like they're obligated to express their age? Do they think they're asserting dominance? I think they are. They do. <laughs> that is a thing. More mysteries I have yet to find out. I'm not gonna lie. I won't lie. This is definitely... No, uh, this video was really fun to make. It was so different and experimental and all over the place. I don't know, I just had so much fun making it. I was thinking about doing a video like this for a while, just like little random topics that aren't enough to make an entire video about on their own. I haven't mm -hmm. seen anyone else do this kind of thing before either. I could be <laughs> wrong. Maybe there's like hundreds of people who already made videos like this before and I'm not being creative at all. If so, then... Hey, whatever. Again, it was pretty experimental and just, I don't know, I kind of like the chaos and unpredictability of it. If you liked this format, I'd totally be down to make another one sometime. But if you're like, wow, Jaden, this was the suckiest video that ever sucked, then I probably won't make another. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be a smart move on my part. Well, I had fun. And that's all that matters. Also, see you at VidCon. Okay. So, I mean, yes, I I do enjoy, I won't deny, I do enjoy Jaden's videos, but I think there's something to be said about someone who is willing to give criticism and constructive feedback, because it is something to think about. It's not demanding that you do it, but it's something to think about to improve the quality of your videos. Because there's nothing wrong with considering how to improve your videos. And a lot of hardcore fans don't like it when people give constructive criticism to their favorite YouTubers, and that's fair. I mean, you're in your little bubble thinking that, oh, you know, there's not, that's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They, they're just fine the way they are. But think about it this way. That's what Logan Paul fans do. 
<laughs> they justify his actions and say there's absolutely nothing wrong that he has ever done. And I'm not saying that Jaden is on that level because she's not at all. But I'm saying there's nothing wrong with giving constructive feedback. And it, you can take it as it is or you can just leave it behind. It, you can do what you want with feedback. That's the greatest thing. Um, and I don't, I don't think Jaden has ever, has ever, like, disliked having constructive criticism. She hasn't ever really responded to that. It's mainly her fans that do that. And it's kind of interesting because I, I'm a fan of her work. I do enjoy her videos. And you know, I, you guys have seen my reactions. I do enjoy her videos. But sometimes... People who are so obsessed with their with their favorite creator don't like it when people talk about them in any sort of negative light, even if it is just constructive criticism. Like, I'm not saying that she's a terrible animator, because she's not. She's a good creator, and she does what she does, and it's entertaining. But it's also important to be able to sort of take what people say and understand where they're coming from and understand what they think would improve their video because everyone has everyone has their own opinions and I do think that color could indeed improve Jaden's videos immensely does she have to no and in fact it's not like her videos look terrible if she wants to go the whole diver whippy kid around then she can stick to that um i do think she needs a little bit more of a variation when she does her character creations and everything but it is kind of interesting her style is very unique and is very interesting um a good example of someone who colors in like everything is uh let me explain studios. I do watch her videos as well. And she colors in everything. It looks so clean. It looks amazing. And Jaden chooses not to color everything in. And it looks great. But I think it could look better. Like some of her fan arts actually look better than her actual videos. Which is kind of interesting. But as I've said, you know, every artist has their own style. And it's important to have your unique style, otherwise you get accused of being a copycat. And most people are copycat. Um, and you don't want that. You want to find your own style that fits you. If Jada thinks that this style fits her, then you know she's more than welcome to go ahead with it. But that doesn't mean you should deny all criticism and reject all criticism. Because criticism is fair. Constructive criticism is fair. You can take it or you can leave it. It's up to you. Um, but it's important as a creator to understand how to take feedback, how to sort of understand where people are coming from, what they're saying about your videos, and taking it and choosing to improve it or not improve upon it. That's up to you. But that doesn't mean that someone can't give their honest feedback. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. You know, I've already seen all, this, all of these videos, but I, I do plan on going back and maybe providing commentary, providing my honest thoughts, criticism, commentary, and all of that to sort of add on to the topic. Not just my sole reaction, but just giving my honest feedback about it. Um, this video is very entertaining, like I said. Um... And you should definitely go check out the original and give support to her as a creator. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys thought. Do you guys want to see more of this? And leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed, if you guys enjoyed it. And don't, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Let your flakes for time, right? You guys are amazing. Peace out, guys. It's been a blast.